Hi guys. I'm sorry that we're a little late today. We're just now getting started. Sorry about it. I'm gonna try to pin this comment again and you will see me fail as I do every week. It's Stephanie. Why? Why can't I pin this thing? Ah! You guys, I did it. It made me flip my phone around, but I did it. Okay. So. Do, do, do. Just trying to get this thing going. I see Stephanie's here. I'm just waiting for her to send me a request. She in here? There she is. Here we go. I was really bad about talking that time. Sorry about it. And I pinned a comment. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> Girl. Girl. Girl, my office is a mess. Um, well, that's laundry hanging up in my hallway. Yes, we're all doing it. We're all succeeding at this. <laughs> we're, we're winning at life. Quarantine. Quarantine. Yeah. You should release an album all about quarantine. <laughs> Hi, y'all. Are you excited to do your makeup with us? Yeah. <laughs> I tried some new hair product. It It's just so-so. What is it? Mm, I don't want to. I don't want to throw them under the bus. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, let's do it. What are we doing today, Katie? Well, I really want to go outside. <laughs> so today we're gonna do a bronzy look, like we've actually gotten some sun. Cool. I love it. <laughs> anyway, what do we do first? Let's do foundation first, actually, okay. this time. Oh, actually, I uh, curl your lashes first. I always like to do that first. Curl your lashes first. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. How are you Thanks. doing? Oh, you know, I did too many things today, and I didn't realize that that was going to be the case. Um, I fucking, I, like, I got up at 6.30 and worked out with Jenna, and then... I had a phone call at 10.30, another one at noon, another one at 2.30, and another one at 4.30. And it was, like, too many things. Like, I was like, oh, they're just phone calls. They're totally fine. And, like, I was wrong. Um, and now you're like, I was really wrong. <laughs> yeah, it was It was not. I, I shouldn't have done it. Brad often says that I fill up my schedule too much. Um, and I think he's right. But I didn't expect that, like four phone calls would leave me motherfucking wiped so yeah i get that okay. I got foundation. well i'm gonna use my co-sauce because i like it but what are you gonna use mm, i could use whatever i could use um i could use my I would, dough. I would probably use the kogan dough i think a lighter one will be better for this look not not as like a heavy coverage got it Boop, I really love Kogan dough. I do too. It's available on the internet. I you told me about their body milk and they only have that in Japan. <gasps> really? Mm -hmm. Um when I was in Japan, Sabrina uh set up a facial at the Kogan dough headquarters for me. Mm -hmm. And it was with Megumi, who's like their head like of everything, and she speaks like very little English, but it's like is absolutely brilliant and so amazing. After that facial, I looked like I was 12 years old. I like my skin was like glowing and plump. That's and so basically she just like massages your face with that with like a face milk version of the body milk. I miss I miss facials. Yeah. <laughs> I was in the shower. I was in the shower and I was like, oh, wouldn't a massage be nice? <laughs> Someone else doing uh, manual labor on my shoulders. That would be great. Um, <laughs> okay, so. 
Okay. Uh, that looks pretty good. I think I got a, got a lot of it on my face, which is probably good. <laughs> Spread a little more bit. is more. Yeah. More okay. is more. Okay, so I did that. Um, we could do it like a natural look first and then take it up to a bronzy look so you can see how you could do two in one. Because it's oh. actually not that hard of a look. Okay, want... yeah, let's do that. Let's you want to do it that way? Okay. I don't know. Thumbs up if you want us to do it that way. Yeah, two looks in one. Oh my God, somebody just said my skin looks good and that's so nice. Um, that's that, I think part of that is because I just I'm not wearing makeup, so I don't have to go to work and wear makeup for like 14 hours and stuff. I've been doing all sorts of masks and everything. It's been really exciting. Yeah. Ooh, what are you drinking? Just kombucha, horchata kombucha. Boring. Okay, it's not okay. it's not spiked kombucha. I just spit everywhere. No, it's not. Not today. Not today. All right, not I'm gonna today. do a little. Con not today. I'm gonna do a little concealer okay. under my eye. Okay, I'll do this time. Um, uh, but if you're doing, I would say if you're doing a natural look, don't just like kind of keep it in that area in the little corner. Yeah. Yeah. Now, why don't and, you like to put concealer down here? Like, what? Well, because, like, even, like, look at your face. Like, it's not discolored there. Like, why would you put, you don't need to put makeup on top of it because you're not well, trying to hide. I don't need to wear a bra either, but I like to sometimes. I know, but, like, all you're doing, if you put concealer there, is you're adding product. And usually what that does is it gets into, like, your fine lines. Ah. And then then it looks more obvious. Okay, okay. Did you hear that, y'all? That's my opinion. That's Katie's opinion. That's my opinion. Okay, so. I do a little here, though. That's you're, you're doing a little there. Because I have a little, I don't even know what it is. My dermatologist told me it was like milia, but I don't really know if that's what that is. But I guess I should believe her. What? I've never heard of Milia. It looks kind of like a white head, but it is like a clogged pore essentially, but it's not a pimple. And you shouldn't you shouldn't pop them because it can cause like serious scarring, like more Dude, so than like Can you see that little guy on my nose? Sort of. Yeah, my it might be hard. Hard. So I I I don't want to be Maybe I shouldn't say this on an IG live. I like I did an, a deep dive on the internet and was like looking around, and it looks like it might be like it might be like a benign skin cell like growth, like a basal skin cell carcinoma, but like not. I mean, I haven't been to a doctor or anything, but it looks exactly like all the pictures that I was finding. And then I was like, maybe I should get off the internet at 4am and stop looking up shit about skin cancer. Maybe. I don't know. I am going to do, I, I wrote my dermatologist today, actually. Um, I'm going to try to get like a telehealth, tell it like a, you know, like where they look at young, where, where they look at young while on the line. To tell mm -hmm. them not you. Cause if it is, then I got to get it removed, which means I got to take a chunk out of my nose. Ugh. I know. Okay, what's next? Um, I like to do highlighter before blush. So I am going to get a biopsy, you guys. Don't worry. Um, okay. Oh, can I use that? Yeah. Uh -huh. I know this you is like my that one. Kogan Doe Aqua Illumination um, Highlighter. It's so good. <laughs> and mine is RMS Living Luminizer because it's my favorite. Someone just said, you're right, you shouldn't say that on IG, which is like, oh, I didn't say anything really that bad. <laughs> so wait, where do we put this? I always like to do like on the top of the cheekbone and like a little bit on the side here. So when you like turn, it's like, ooh. Ooh, why is that girl's face sparkly? Is she just super healthy? And then I do, I like to do a little on the lip. She's just super healthy. You think that's what that's what highlighter's supposed to be? It's like, oh my god, that girl's so healthy. She's sparkling from the inside out. <laughs> I think that's probably the concept, right? I might put a little concealer on my eyelid because 
Mine look really red. I put pink eyeshadow on yesterday and sometimes pink eyeshadow will stain your eyelid. I didn't know this. Yeah, depending on like, especially like the really bright pink colors. So. Someone just made me laugh as a highlight until it looks like you're sweating. <laughs> it kind of does. Girl. That's why, that's why like, I don't understand. And I was going to make this point later, but I'll just do it now. You know, like bronzers or highlighting or powders with shimmer in them and people just like put it all over their face and they're like, I'm diffusing. And I'm like, you're not diffusing. Now you just look sweaty. I mean, the problem with, not problem, but the thing with my skin is that like, uh, it's so oily that, you know, like she starts looking like she has highlighter everywhere. Okay. I mean, yeah, same. It's like here, 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 which I have to powder that later. And so whenever I do your makeup, I don't put like a ton of highlighter on you because eventually. she shines internally. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So for a natural look, I would probably, do you have a cream blush or do you have? Let's find out. Let's just do a little yeah. deep dive into the growers here. One of my cats is going nuts again. Oh, which one? Katie's cats are named Danger and Awesome. I just burped. <laughs> it's Good Danger. Name. He's going crazy. He's like running laps up and down the hallway. I have, ooh, that doesn't look clean. That's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> ooh. Um, I have, I don't want to show it to you. I have, let me, let me swipe a little on my hand, on my. What is it? It looks like that. It's a Stila convertible color palette. It's called Petunia. And it's like that color. That could be cute. I also have two products from Glossier. I have this one that's called Beam and this one that's Dusk. Oh, Beam would be really pretty. It's a different type of application and I don't have mine out, but I can walk, I can talk you through it. Walk me, talk me. I will say it involves touching your face and I don't know if you like doing I'm that. I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay. Yeah, I can do so, it. for for Glossier for their um, what's the cheek stuff called again? Um, it is called. I'm completely blanking. Their cloud paint. Clown paint. paint. Yeah. You clown can, paint. Yeah. You tap it. You want to tap it and blend it out that way, because if you try to do it on a sponge or if you streak it and move it around, I find it gets really streaky. So what I like to do is like you smile, you get your apples, and you like tap it in right okay and so i'm i'm gonna use um this new i really like this stuff they sent the to me tower 28 this beach please golden hour beach please and you can use okay. a sponge or you can use your finger and you Ooh, just that's cute look at that that's cute yeah it's cute she but i i really so think cute. if you have the glossier the cloud paint i really think that's like the secret to the cloud paint because I've tried like using a sponge and I've tried blending it, which I can do with a regular cream. And it, to me, it gets really stupid. It doesn't happen. Well, that's kind of nice though. I mean, I think a lot of the glossy seems to be um, marketed toward the younger set. And I think a lot of them don't have, I mean, I didn't when I was like in my teens and twenties, I definitely didn't have a bunch of money to spend on like brushes and sponges and stuff. They're expensive. They are expensive. Okay. Uh, so that, Katie? did I use enough? Did I use too much? No, I like it. I I love blush. <laughs> I'm like, it's pretty. I like it. You could even do more a little bit more on the other cheek. This one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That one, yeah. That you're just touching. Wow. You've really taught me the power of blush because normally I'm like terrified to put too much blush on. No, I love it. Lest I look like I'm going to a dance recital. No, you don't look like you're not wearing like super red blush from the eighties. So okay. it's like a lot, you know? Okay. So I'm going to powder now because I'm looking really shiny. <laughs> okay. And um, again, I will say this over and over again, you get the product on your brush. I like to swirl it in the lid and then you start in the middle of your face because you want more powder in the middle. And then we are going to powder towards the outside, but make sure you do the T-zone first. T's on first. Okay. I'm going to use a slightly different powder today. I'm going to use the coconut dough. Ooh, which one? Um, natural lighting powder. Manifashi Night Natural Lighting Powder. 
Now, I don't know what this is going to do, so I'm excited to see. Let me see it. Can I see it? Is it tinted? No. Okay. Just like a little bit. Like my coloring, I guess. I don't know. Somebody just asked if we've both been to the UK, and we have. Yeah. Not at the same time. No, not at the same time, sadly. <laughs> I love the UK. I've been to, I, I have been around the world in I, I, I. That's what I can't find my about. baby. I don't know where I'm going to fly. Where I'm going to I don't know where you can, can be. My, my baby. baby. I'm gonna find him. Who's testing it? It's it's not Annie Lennox, is it? Mike, who sings that song? Yes, I have been to Canada. I'm trying to get hit my boyfriend to Google it for me. Okay. Elisa Stansfield. Elisa Stansfield, underrated. Okay. Okay. Um, and then I'm gonna do eyebrows. Eyebrows. Okay, how are you doing your eyebrows today? What are you using? Well, if it were me and I was doing a natural look, I would probably just use a tinted brow gel, but you don't have one, so. <laughs> Shade. Shade. But you don't have that. So, so, what, I would do, so what do I do instead? Um, what I would do is comb them in the shape that you want and then lightly use like a point of your tip on your eyebrow pencil and then fill in just hairs that you wanted to. So for example, this brow pencil that I use, it's got like a fat way, which I need to sharpen it, hold on. I was just gonna sharpen my brow pencil. Nah, I haven't really been sharpening this one. Thanks. Sorry about it. Okay. Yeah, it's so much better. Oh, so I, like, broke the, I broke the tip off. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, keep going, What? what? So like you can see it's fat this way, but if I twist it this way, it's got a finer tip. Uh-huh. Mine, mine's different. It's got like a dual edge. I'm falling apart. And so what I'm going to do is just use that finer tip and then brush in hairs. You could also do it with brow flick. Well, I think that's what's going to happen is that my, my pencil sharpener is all stuck. So... Brow flick is a little scary to me. Now, I'll tell you why. Because it looks like a fucking marker. It does look like a marker. So what do I do? Just get in there and, like, fuck around and see what happens? <laughs> just get in there and fuck around. Just get in there and fuck around. What do I do? Well, it's just like, it's like an eyeliner pen. Sorry, I'm just kidding. I don't have one out. So you just, like, flick it upward. Little strokes. Mm. All right. You can do it. Okay. I have faith in you. Okay. Well, where do you start? Do you start over here? Or do you start over here? My so I just to start over here, but I don't think that's right. I would just start where, you, like, so I just filled in like a few this way. So I would fill it in, like there. My cat. Oh my god, your cat! <laughs> He's freaking out. <laughs> You're doing great. What are you talking about? Oh my god! Thank you. Look at you even. Yeah, you're doing great. I'm sorry that you don't have an outdoor space there in New York. Katie's in New York, everybody. I'm in LA. Um, yeah, I'm sorry lame. that there's no outdoor space there for you. It's real lame. Can you go on your roof at all? Like, does the building have roof access? Well, it does have roof access, but the issue is, is that the roof, I live in a co-op building and the roof is deeded out to certain people. Oh, that's not fair. Maybe they could be generous in this during this time of the pandemic. Well, I have opinions about that, but I don't know if any of them are watching this. Uh, maybe, maybe I should just say. Well, I was telling Mike, I was like, dude, if I lived, if I lived, if I had the roof access in this building, I would be like, hey, if y'all are really desperate, just let me know. Although I know there's also like a legal liability, which also seems crazy to me because it's like two different patios up there. So I'm like, all right. But I know I am trying I, to draw my eyebrows on with the sharpie. This is a damn marker, y'all. It's a little. It's called brow flick. 
It's called, called Brow Slick by Glossier. See? Okay, that's pretty good, right? I did a pretty good job. You did a great job. It's a little, like, sketch in there, but... You know what? It's just like any other brow product. If it, like, bothers you, you can kind of comb it out. Okay, cool. Cool. All right. I did something. That's you did a great job. That was your first time using brow... That, that, that stuff's not um, easy to use. It's my... Maybe, like, third time using it. It always does like freak me out it does kind of look like a marker so it scares the shit out of me um so the thing i would do after this is if i was just doing a natural look yeah. i would get mascara uh -huh. and just like a little bit should i do it if you want to okay or you can do it at the end and i would do just like okay. one simple coat just something really light okay Nothing heavy. Like, don't go back in and go crazy. Oh. Too late. <laughs> Pretty. And then you could either use the same... Um, I'm getting so shiny today. The same cheek color, which I don't think would work super well for your lips or yeah. you could use like a tinted like a like a natural colored lip gloss or like yeah. you know tinted lip balm yeah that's cute i'll use this one from um kosas that i just got Dip. this is kevin no, this, isn't Dip. this is malibu malibu that's what it's called mm -hmm. it's a little pink i'll fix it that's cute. Yeah. Your see, yours is like. More. Katie, have you ever been to Brazil? I haven't been to Brazil. I've been I'm to. Go. I would like to go to. I've been to Argentina, and I've been to Uruguay, but I have not been to Brazil. Anyway, that's like a really natural look. Super easy. Nothing that crazy. Is easy. What did that take? Like ten minutes, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Great. Maybe. Love it. Okay, so now we can amp it up a little bit. Okay, let's amp. Let's amp it. Let's amp it up. Brown eyeliner pencil. Brown? Yeah. Yeah, I have the F Teddy. That works. Okay. And I'm just going to sharpen it. What? I said, don't ask me to sharpen it because my fucking sharpener is broken. <laughs> that sucks. Shit, it really needs to be sharpened, too. Well, you know what? do what we can all right what well we we're, i'm just gonna do it like sloppy in the eye the top lid here so you I don't have know. any eyeshadow on your eyelids at all no it looks like you have some kind of like creamy pink purple on there it's just because my eyes a are stained from that pink eyeshadow yesterday and b they they i have blood vessels that just like show through i mean sorry that's cool it looks cool Thanks. You're welcome. So just like along the little, the brat, the, the fuck, I'm losing all my la, 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 la. She's drinking kombucha, <laughs> okay. You can like recreate something like this with like sort of like a reddish brown eyeshadow, actually. Hmm. 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 I could never. I could never. Yeah, you could. I could with your guidance, maybe. Okay. What? I'm like, what edge of this is the least dangerous? Don't stab yourself, please. No, well. And then oh. I smudge. I actually smudged it out with my finger, but. I can hear my dog running across the apartment. It's your dog and not my cat? No, no it's no, my here. He's sitting right here now. I think he's mad that I'm not paying attention to him. Probably. Okay, I did it. Yeah. You gonna, did, did you smudge it? it? I'm doing that right now. Okay. Okay, I smudged. And then I'm gonna use, because we're doing like a beachy bronzy thing. Uh -huh. Bronzy. I'm gonna use this like, this goldish bronzy color. Okay. Something like that. She got to look. 
Hmm. <laughs> oh, it's like super gold, like that. Yeah, maybe not so gold. Maybe more like I would even if you're gonna like, I would gear towards something more bronzy. Hold on, the cat's in the bathroom. Hey, oh. Are they not allowed in the bathroom? No, because they like run around in the trash and then Danger likes to eat dental floss out of the trash. What about that? It's literally called bronze. Which one is it? The Yeah, that's pretty. I like that. It's in that oh, you don't have this. It's in that soft lamb Anastasia palette, but I don't know if you have this. Like you can There's also that. these two called Glistening and Fairy. Those are two gold, I think. I think this one that I'm, it looks more gold than it is. It's actually kind of copper. Okay. Do you want me to spread this out on my hand and you can track? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Yeah, we just did eyeliner. It was just brown eyeliner and we made it smudgy because we don't want it, any hard lines. Whoa, that is serious business. Yeah, that's real gold. Is that good or no? No, I'm looking for something more copper. Mm. Like this. That is going to be a tough one, Katie. Wow. Um, wow. I don't believe I have anything like that. Although I might have a highlighter that could work. Ooh. I have that highlighter in the middle. Oh, yeah. That's closer, I think. All right. Let's see that. Let's test it out, kids. Swatch it. Swatch it. Swatch it. It's really light, though. That's okay. If it's too light, we'll go in with a little bit of brown. Okay. Okay, so what now? So I'm going to get some of this brassy color. Okay. And I'm just going to do it on the mobile lid up to the crease. On the what? The mobile lid. The mobile lid, as opposed to the immobile lid up here. This is yeah. the lid down here. Okay, cool. So just apply it up to the crease. Yeah, we're just keeping it simple. And then I smudged out the edge with like a a clean brush. I don't have any of those right now. <laughs> Yeah, so I think that one's pretty light as far as, like, highlighters go. I haven't done any um, brush laundry. Maybe go in with the um, that Lorac palette, this one, mm -hmm. that we always use, because I know what is in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And go over it with the dark mocha. Over it with the dark mocha. Oh, yeah, but make sure you tap off a lot. That Those shadows are really soft, so make sure you tap off a lot on the brush. Somebody asked me the other day in my comments, they wanted to know what your hair color was. I know it's overtone, but which color was it? Oh, it's like magenta overtone or something. Hi, Travis. My friend Travis is here. Aww. I was like, my ex-boyfriend from high school? No. Nah. What's he doing here? Just kidding. We're still friends. He came to my wedding. Yeah, that's a little bit bronzier. Is it? I feel like I'm really <laughs> failing this. I'm failing today. Um, hmm. Let me try this. Let me try a little of this color. Like, what? what's the worst? Which one? Happen? Really shitty that gold color that like okay i would even like let me see that palette again in the middle there's that like kind of broad like right under the light pink yeah that one what's you that? Want that yeah called sienna is it shimmery or just matte it's matte it's like that yeah, I would do that and then put the highlighter on top. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. There we Whoa. go. Got it. Okay, I got it.
You know, you could even put on there is the, um, you could tap some of the Kogan dough stuff on your hand and then do that on top of it. Oh, dang. Fossey. Oh, that looks, yeah, that's looking a lot better. We're just like, we'll just layer like all these colors on top of each other. Okay, man. Sometimes this is what you got to do. Okay, how's that? That looks good. And okay, then and take then you want the highlighter on top of it. Yeah, take some of the Kogan dough. But like, really sheer it out like on your hand, like get <laughs> a lot of it off because I know that stuff's kind of serious. And then tap it on top. Oh, you're doing it with the brush. Well, was I supposed to do it with my finger? Oh, shit. <laughs> it works both ways. My bad. <laughs> you can even just, like, smooth it out like that. You don't have to be scared. That looks good. I always get scared. I don't know why. We, fa we faked it out. I think <laughs> I get scared because, like... It always feels like, oh, no, I have to start all over, you know? But I don't. It's fine. It's okay. just makeup. Cool. Worst case scenario, just take it off. It's just makeup, she said. Just take oh, it off. Is this a bug bite? Oh, no. I was like, I, I feel bad that you don't have outdoor space. Like, I really do. Because I was outside today, and it was sunny, and it was like, mm. I went on our patio, and it was, like, really nice, and I was very grateful. Sorry. That's not your fault. No. Do you have, what kind of bronzer? Do you have a shimmery bronzer or do you only have the matte bronzer? Let's find out. Oh, you've been using that contour palette, right? Yeah, I've been using that contour palette. Um, And then I think I have, I think this is shimmery though. I don't know what it is. I don't mind a shimmery bronzer for part of it. No, it's a highlighter. See that? Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Let me see. Let me just pull, let me pull my drawer out. Okay. I honestly Does don't have any makeup questions. Have a shimmery bronzer. I think I've only got shimmery highlighters. Mm -hmm. Well, we could always put the highlighter on top of the bronzer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I need to do after this? Make a master list of shit that I actually need. <laughs> Like, this Maybe. bitch needs a fucking shimmery bronzer stat. Okay. <laughs> well, okay. So, if you had a shimmery bronzer, I would start with the shimmery one. And you can just use whatever bronzer you're going to use. Okay. Because we could just put highlighter and powder on top of it. This one's from Kosas. It's new. It's their, uh, I forget what my, it's called. My favorite but. thing about this is the the fun comments. I really like the fun comments. Sorry. I just got distracted by people being cute and sweet. Okay, so when you're thinking about bronzer, you're thinking about like if you get a tan, like where does it hit your face first? Because Everywhere. when you see it, <laughs> but when you see a lot with, <laughs> remember like in the '90s when people would just put bronzer all over their face and then it would be like brown. We're yes. trying to not do that. So okay. I'm gonna start with the cheeks and like start on top of the cheeks. Wait, show me what kind of brush you're using because I have this, but I have other ones too. I look like. For bronzer, I like a much, let's see, here's my finger. I like a really, and this is like a really soft. Super floof. What about this one? Is this too floofy? No, I don't think so. Oh, okay. All right. So. Okay, where do you put I'm it? I'm going to go on top of kind of like a little bit, like right on your cheekbone. And then it goes up the side a little bit. This is if you're using the shimmery one, you would start here. Because I only really want to put the shimmery one like on my cheekbone and on the side. Because if I start doing it in the other places, then it's going to look crazy. So we'll go back to the highlighter for you in a second. I'm going to get my matte bronzer out. <laughs> Someone's like, bronze around the temples. And I'm like, I know. Bronze. I know. Bronze around the clock? OK. Wait, is this so, too much? No, nah, we're doing bronzy look. It's not too much. Got it. Okay. And then I'm going to go up here around the temple. 
Hi. Yeah. Hi. Okay, so should I be doing that too, even though mine's not shimmery? Yeah, I switched to a, a matte one. So where do so you I'm put like it? really, I'm going like, like kind of around the temple and like really like going in and shading up here. Okay. So you, I have a much wider hairline than you. So for you, I would like kind of do it, focus up here and fade down, but don't go too far down your forehead. Like keep this place, place, this place a little bit neutral. Okay, how's that? Yeah, that's looking good. I would even do a little bit more up here. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to keep my bangs out of the way so that it makes sense. Yeah. Okay. It's so hard for me to tell still, like, how much is too much? Is this too much? Does it look No, weird? it's not too much. Crazy? Do I look you crazy? Can, crazy? You okay. can put more. Okay. And then do a little on the chin. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then just a little on the nose, like really light. Like that? Yeah. And like a little between the brow, just really, don't get more on there. Just like do a little there. And then you got to think about down here too. And because you're wearing a strapless shirt, I would even do your shoulders, but so like I would take it down this part where okay. these like tendons stick out. Uh -huh. And then you want to do your, I should have worn a low cut shirt, like the top of your collarbone. Okay. Okay. And then you also, because you're wearing a strapless shirt, I would do your shoulders. Okay. Like, I'll show you the clean brush. Just go in there. La, la, la. <laughs> it's like mixing with my sunscreen from today. Wow, I didn't know that you had to put it all over the place like that. Yeah, I mean, because if you only do your face, you're going to look crazy. Then you're looking crazy, right. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. So, um, we did all that. Pretty easy. Great, I love it. And then you could do more mascara if you feel like it, which I'm going to do because I feel like it. And then I'm going to do like a coral lip color. A what? Coral. Oh, I thought you said an oily lip color. And I was like, what the fuck is that? I don't have that. I know I don't have that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what an oily fucking what? An oily lip color. All right. Tight, 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 tight. This is pretty easy. Wait, are we almost done? We're almost done. Damn. Cool. Then, I do look like I've been hanging out in the sunshine. It's nice. It's fun, right? Yeah. So I'm going to go in with a coral lip color, which is, I feel like my color on my screen got really distorted. I'm sorry. It's this color, which is called Juliet from NARS. Oh, pretty. She says that she looks into her drawer and tries to find something similar. What about <laughs> this? Oh, that's pretty, yeah. Is that the Bobby Brown one I gave you? Yeah, called Cabana. Yeah. <sighs> okay. I'm crazy. Sorry, I'd be quiet while I'm doing my lipstick. Oh, I forgot to go over the highlighter with you. So you should get a, a goldy, oh, yeah. a golden reflex highlighter, powder highlighter. Okay. A golden reflect. Okay. Why don't I just use that same one that I use on my, my eyelids? Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. And then what? Um, I'm going to get a clean brush to show you. So you just go over the cheek area. Like the same area that you put the um, bronzer on your cheek. You like how I look at my brushes every time I'm like, this looks pretty clean. Oh, like, I mean, clean? These are clean, but... How's this doing? All right. Just like all across the cheek? Like blush? Yeah, because that's basic. That's where you put it before. So if you had a shimmery bronzer, it would be in that area anyway. How's that? Yeah, I like that. Okay. I don't know why my screen got so yellow. Just like out of nowhere. Okay. Guys, do I look cool? 
I think I look cool. I think I you look really pretty. Makeup, but I like doing this. It's fun. And it's fun to see, like, that I'm capable of doing different kinds of things by myself with a little direction. I'm going to add a little bit more blush on top of the apples and a color. So I'm just going to get, like, a peachy pink, like, a peach colored blush. Mm -hmm. And just do that on the apples. Do I need to do that? If you want to, you don't have to. If you like how it looks, you don't have to change it. I have something called peach cobbler. What about that? Oh, yeah, that's cute. Okay. She will try it. She will try. Oh, that is cute. I like to layer a lot of blush. Meanwhile, people are like, I like a fucking natural look. I don't like it when girls wear makeup. And we're over here, like, layering, like, eight different products. I know. But it doesn't look like a lot. You walked it out like this, people like a lot like, of people, right? People be like, oh, you don't wear a lot of makeup. And I'm like, yeah. Lol. Okay. And then the last thing, my nose is really itchy, I would do. Do you have, like, a shimmery lip gloss? I don't know. I don't think I do. I I have like a super glossy one. But in terms of shimmer, I don't think I do. Ah. I have an idea. What? Get the get your highlighter, the um Kogan Doe again. Okay. So and the lip gloss. Mm -hmm. And then take take some and with the doe foot here, because it's doe foot, right? The applicator looks like a, uh, the, the highlighter. No, it looks like a little paintbrush. That's fine. Just like get some on your hand. Okay. Like take the applicator and kind of twist it on your hand. Okay. So you get a bunch on your, like a bunch of goop on your hand, right? Got it, gooped it up. And then you can do the same with the lip gloss. Not directly into it because you don't want to mix them directly in because then you, then your lip gloss would get shimmery. But if you'd like another section of your hand, like a different spot, do it. Okay. And then you could use a brush and just mix the two together and then put them on top of the lipstick. Ooh. Wow. Makeup hack. Makeup it. hack. Okay. Where is a lip? Where is a lip brush? Here we go. That's definitely not clean, you guys. Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie doodle. Well, that's really big. I'm just going to use it. It's okay. It's this lip gloss. It's not. It doesn't Ooh. need to be. Well, that's fun. But that'll give your lipstick a little bit, or your lip gloss a little bit of mm -hmm. shimmer. Tight. I like it. I'm into it. I need to wipe all the shit off my hand. Guys, we went to the beach. You guys ever finish your makeup and then look at your hand and you're like, damn, what did I do? <laughs> what I That's doing? me. That's me every time because I use my hands so much for makeup. Right. Okay. So look at the look at look at this. I washed my hair today. And then I used this new product, right? And I like spent uh -huh. the time and like did the curly girl system and if you don't know what that is just google it but like look at how motherfucking flat this shit is look at that mm. just nothing no lift no volume but you sent me a photo of your hair earlier today and the curl was looking it so looked pretty. pretty right but that was before like it had fully dried that was like two two in the afternoon and it's already like looking flat I mean, I guess uh, it's okay, but you know, it's super annoying. You spend all this money on products. And you're like, Shit. You should, normally, you have a little bit more volume up here. Yeah, what a flat that is. It's like I've been wearing a hat. This makeup is pretty, though. It is pretty. I like it. I'm going to turn off my makeup lights a little bit so you can see. You can always put more mascara on, too, if you feel like it, which I always do. Um. Okay, so it's time for question and answer. 
Q and A. Um, you can ask us questions about makeup, but you can also ask some questions about Brooklyn Nine Nine. Don't ask me what it's like working with Andy Samberg. It's awful. <laughs> it is good. The worst. Okay, he's awesome. Mm. Yeah. I wish you had the capability of. I don't know if I have it. I don't think I do because it's not my. Oh, life. the questions. I'll see. Yeah, if I the can question see. thing seems like clearer to me than like trying to scroll through people's comments. Do you watch so, Killing Eve? I have not. Now. I've not watched Killing Eve. Um, my friend Amanda said it's really, really good. So it's one of one of the things on my list right now. I'm trying to get through Kim's Convenience, and also the new show Never Have I Ever on Netflix, which is so fucking funny. A bunch of the Brooklyn Nine Nine writers are on it. Um, I want to watch people that. that used to watch used to write on Brooklyn Nine Nine are on it. It's also produced by Mindy Kaling. It's so funny. So good. There's a queer character in there. I don't want to ruin anything for you, but it's pretty clear. Um, yeah, it's so good. So I'm working my way through those two shows right now. What else, Katie? What else? Um, do you have any advice to young aspiring actors or actresses? Yeah, um, I would say, I'd say the, the best advice is like, um, think about like why you want to tell stories and what kind of stories you want to tell. Try to zero in on that. Are you like, are you a person who really wants to tell like funny rom-com kind of stories or do you want to focus on like drama stuff? Do you really want to tell like stories that have like super badass car chases in them or like superhero stuff? Like think about the kinds of stories that you want to tell and then start watching as much as you can of those kinds of stories. Um, so like if you really like sitcoms, like watch a lot of sitcoms and see what the rhythms are and see what the, see what the timing and jokes is. If you want to be, like more of a dramatic actor and like do a bunch of, you know, Lord of the Rings types things, like sort of start reading those books and get familiar with that world. It's like just familiarize yourself with the world that you think that you want to go into. And then also just start doing stuff that's scary for you, like auditioning for the plays and, you know, reading plays at home aloud and, and maybe like doing some like community theater, even though it kind of like feels embarrassing and weird. It's like, just do the stuff that feels embarrassing and weird. So it stops feeling as embarrassing and weird. Yeah. Uh, Stephanie, would you ever consider going to Pride in another country? Yeah, I would, I would love to go to Pride in another country. Um, my plan was this year to try to go to Pride in Paris. Um, but that's obviously not going to happen. So, uh, but I would love, love, love to spend Pride in another country. Um, I know a lot of countries have incredible Pride celebrations and some of them are like lots of different times. So it would be really fun to do like a Pride tour and go to a bunch of places. Um, here is a makeup question. Yeah. We can both answer. What is your fave makeup brand? Do you have one? I mean, I do really like Coke and Dough. I, I like the way it feels on my skin because I have oily skin. So it feels really good. Um, and I like Glossier and I like, um, um, I like Hourglass. What about you, Katie? I like a lot of different brands for me. It's always about like, well, what are you asking about? Like, what is your, my favorite concealer brand or et cetera. But there are right. some brands I think doing some really cool stuff that I definitely like. I like Kosoft a lot. They've been putting out a really. Yeah. I you've been using them a lot. Yeah. They've been doing a really beautiful line. I really like it. Um, I like, um, I just got this new brand called Tower 28, which I'm really enjoying. And I think it's really fun and easy to use. And they make it for sensitive skin, which is cool. cool. And there's this brand called Axiology, which uses all recycled packaging. Oh. And like, these little guys are completely waste-free. So it's wow, paper. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah, and you can use this they on your cool. eye and your lip. That's so that's cool. Two for one. Li yeah, lid to lip balmy. I like stuff like that. I like it. Jillian Dempsey makes these really beautiful cream products and I really like cream products. So I have a lot of some of my RMS I love. I love this highlighter, but I have a lot of fun stuff that I've been using lately that I really like. Ilya's been coming out with cool stuff. So it just depends. Um, oh, I do like, um, you know what I like for the show? Uh, NYX for lit because it stays for fucking ever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Somebody, somebody. I'm other... ah, ah, ah. <laughs> oh, what mascara did we both use? I, I use you go. I use black satin Givenchy. I used Ilya, 
Limitless Lash Mascara, which I'm really liking because of the brush. It's got like five different types of, I think it's four really, but mm -hmm. it's all about the brush for me. And I'm really liking the way that it builds up. I'm really into my cheeks right now. Wow, they look really good. They do look really good. Um, I'm looking. <laughs> Should you cut your own bangs? Don't cut your own bangs. Not if you don't have bangs already. Don't do it. Like I have, I've been trimming my bangs, but it, I was very, very, very careful. I had bangs for one summer. It was, it was fine. It wasn't really for me. Why not? I like them. I thought they were cute on you. They're okay. I I actually like I would love to do that sort of like super short bang. I think that would be really fun. Mm -hmm. And like it all the way across so I looked like super hardcore. I think that'd be really fun. Um but like the longer bang it just wasn't I didn't I after a while, after like three days, I was like, Why did I do this? I don't really like it. Someone wants to know where you got your headband from. My friend uh, Josette got it for me. I think she got it on the internet. I know, I'm really not sure. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it looks like, to me, it looks like Minnie Mouse, and I love it that. Does look like Minnie Mouse. It does look like Minnie Mouse, for sure. Yeah. Um, okay, do you have any? Her. What? Do you want any more questions? I got mm -hmm. more. Yeah, do some more. Um, do you have anything to say for all the kiddos that aren't getting their final show for school slash youth theater? Which is a bummer for people in school. No, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry that's happening. Um, I'd say, like, really mourn it. Like, be sad about it. Like, like I know it feels like, oh, am I, like, really crying about, like, a show? But, like, yeah, fucking cry. You worked really hard. Now you're not going to get to do it. Like, cry hard. Yeah. Like, be upset about it. And then once you've gotten that, like, kind of, like, moved that sadness through your body, you'll feel better um it's still gonna be sad and it's always gonna be like oh what could have been you know but it's like I mean our show got canceled you know and like so we all were really sad and we cried really hard and then I mean I cried really hard I remember like and it didn't hit me right away and then I was like oh my god I'm never gonna go back there so like <laughs> you gotta just like try to let it go so that you create space for something else I agree with that this yeah. is a good question what is your best piece of advice for a teenage girl struggling with body confidence, confidence in general? Um, that is a really good question. Um, I don't know. Like, I think it's hard because, like, we didn't grow up with uh, social media in the same way. And, like, comparing compa – I mean, like, I think Chelsea Peretti said that to me one time. She was like, compare and despair. Like, Mm -hmm. The minute that you start comparing your own body to other people's, you're just going to, like, find things to hate on yourself. You're going to be like, oh, my God, like, her butt's bigger, her boobs are bigger, her legs are longer, her, you know, oh, she's so petite, oh, she's so tall, like, oh, she's so, like, this, that, or the other. It's like, that's really hard. I mean, I think a practical thing you can do is actually, like, limit your time on social media. I know that sounds so, so old lady, but... I've definitely found for myself, I mean, I have an eating disorder and like I have found for myself that it's better to limit my time on social media and to really pay attention to who like I'm following and who's coming up in my feed and stuff. And if it's like a lot of stuff that's like just focused on people's bodies and how they look, um, it may be like someone, you know, that's like a actress or a model or an influencer or somebody like that. It might be someone in, you know, like, in school with you that like mm -hmm. is just really focused on how they look and that's what they're putting out there into the world and you know no judgment but like if it's sending you into a spiral of hating yourself and like standing in the bathroom naked and pinching your own body which is something that I've actually done it's like it's not worth it it's just not worth it so like just you know mute them if you don't want to unfollow them but like stop looking at other people's bodies and comparing yourself because you're your brain will always tell you, or at least like mine did and still does sometimes like, oh, you don't measure up, oh, you're not enough. And what the real answer is like, sorry to get woo woo, but like, <laughs> <laughs> we're all the same, you know, like we're all alive, we all have souls, we're all here, we're on the planet, like we're in these bodies for a reason. And like, you really are kind of 
wonderful and perfect in yourself, but it's hard to sort of like get, like get into that, I guess. Like yeah. it's like a daily battle. I would say too, like if you, if you feel like you can't, you know, stay off social media, then to follow people that inspire you. Yeah, that's really cool. follow follow all kinds of beautiful, different people. Um, lots you know, of body. lots of different body types because that really helps me. And like, you know, people like, you know, like Lizzo, she's amazing. She's amazing. Yeah, yeah. she's really, and like, you know, and maybe focus more on just like, you don't always have to like love your body but like focus on body neutrality i think that's like an easy step mm -hmm. so like maybe do some research on body neutrality first and then maybe try to see how it goes from there i love it um should we look at any more questions yeah let's do uh, another one or two we have like 10 minutes right before we gotta go i think we have like eight minutes <laughs> what was your hardest scene to shoot in brooklyn 99 um the coming out to my parents because <laughs> uh, it's not something that I've actually had happen in real life. I've never sat my parents down and said, hello, I'm bisexual. I mean, it's kind of come out piecemeal um, a little bit here and a little bit there, but I haven't had that particular experience. And so I was having to act as Rosa being you know, going through what she was going through. And then at the same time, I was like staring at these two actors who, you know, don't look anything like my parents, but somehow still reminded me of my parents. So I was like, it was a little like an internal thing was happening where it was like me. And then I was trying to like hold that over here because that's not Rosa. Like if it was Stephanie, I would have been like bawling and being like, please accept me. You know, and Rosa wasn't, that's not Rosa. So that was really difficult to shoot. <clears throat> Yeah, that was really difficult to shoot. And I don't know. I think the the pilot was really hard for me to shoot because I was really nervous and I didn't feel like I belonged. I mean, the person that I was when I shot the pilot is very different than the person I am now, meaning like I do have a lot more self-love and I don't think that I had that when I shot the pilot. I think I was me I was on my way but I I definitely didn't like myself as much as I do now so I was really it was really hard because I was on the set with all these people that I admired and I felt really self-conscious I felt really stupid I felt like I wasn't pretty enough and I didn't feel like I was thin enough or my skin wasn't good enough or my you know like I just didn't feel like I fit in so that was really hard and it should have it should have been the like best thing in the world but I, I had a really hard time we were shooting the pilot because I didn't feel like I belonged. And that was all internal because I did belong. Yeah, you do, boo. <laughs> Thanks, Mia. Somebody asked, okay, one more question, which I think we can squeeze in really quick. It was like, some, what, are our, what are our favorite memories together? Oh, my God, we have two minutes remaining. Oh, my God. <coughs> What's oh. Your favorite memory? I don't know. Bachelorette, my bachelorette. Oh, that was fun. Or when I came to visit you in San Diego, like, ages ago, when you were in that play. What was that in, like, 2006? <laughs> <laughs> so drunk at that restaurant. Do you remember that? Yeah, with the plates of wine. Oh my god, that was so fun. Oh my god. And then I was like, let's go to the gay bar. And you were like, let's do it. And then it was closed or something, right? I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, they were like, we had, we had so much wine. We were like, we'll get the flight. We'll try all three wines. <laughs> we'll get the flight. Were, like, ginormous. They were like full glasses. Yeah, they were full glasses of wine. It wasn't a taste. It was a full glass of wine. It was crazy. Oh my God, it's so funny. It makes me want one. <laughs> really funny. Hey, um, thanks for sticking with us to the end of this, where you got some more fun stuff. Um, not just the makeup. Yeah. That was really fun. Yeah. Again. Okay. Love you. Love you. See you next week. Okay. Bye. Bye. Oh, I'm so sun kissed. Bye. Bye. <laughs>